to get to the fun part. We're officially about to begin Flame of Love Roll Call, where I name everyone, yes, everyone who was cast on your season of Flavor of Love. And you're going to tell me the first thing that comes to your brain. This could be one word. This could be a sentence, a paragraph. It can be a favorite behind the scenes moment, a memory, how you feel about them now, really whatever you want to say. Are you ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm going to say is Safari. She didn't even get a name, child. Oh, let's see. What could I, you said one word? No, I'm saying it, it can be one word. It could be whatever you want to say. Whatever you want to say. Next. <laughs> okay. Um, let me ask you this about her. What about the iconic fight that she had when she first walked in the house? Do you remember most still to this day? I remember what's funny is I show my kids because they were like, my kids be Googling, they're teenagers, my two oldest. They be Googling talking about mommy, we know, because people would come up to me and they would be like, Why are they calling you that? Why are they call you that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they start Googling, being messy. <laughs> and they were like, Oh, mommy, we know. We be seeing clips, we know. And then uh -huh. um, so I let them see it. I said, Well, I'll go on and show y'all. Y'all know. Right. <laughs> so shit. And they be laughing their heads off. And so they okay, me and Safari used to be cool. We are not cool anymore. So she mm -hmm. met my kids. Mm -hmm. So when they saw that part, my kids said, Is that something? Fiery, <laughs> <laughs> and they're laughing like uh -huh. fiery because you know they just know that's Bobby's friend. Mm -hmm. They was around her a lot. That's one person I can say mm -hmm. that they remember. So they was like, "That's a fire." It was just funny. So first thing I would think for her is, or in there was, if even if you go back, you could see me watching the fight. And I'm laughing my ass off and just kept going. <laughs> I wanted them to get their little hits in for Flav and then found out. Because if you look at it, me, I think it was me and Beautiful walking by. And I look and just start laughing. <laughs> the security running there. That's why I don't think that um, they were ready. I don't think the production was ready. Because as you, if you go back, there was no security running over there for a long time. For a long time. For a very long time. I thought that was a funny, but the white girl was racist. She had said a lot of crazy things. For real? What'd she say? I think, see, that's the thing. Now H Town, you, right? Was that her name? Look, we don't even remember that girl. I think so. I think mm -hmm. that was her. I think. But I know, I think so, because she said, I think she was from Houston or something. Maybe mm -hmm. that was. Because I know there was another tall girl. And I forgot what her name was, but they look, you know, were similar. But I remember she said something ghetto trash. That's on there. I think you you can hear. She did. Me. No, she did. I do remember that. Yeah, she said ghetto trash. She said this isn't the street of Com streets of Compton, bitch. You from Houston? What you know about Compton? Because at the end of the day, everybody knows they relate that to black folks being ghetto. Yeah. Bitch. And she said, "I'm not from fucking Compton, bitch." Like <laughs> right. I'm from. But I'm, from 34th, I'm from 34th and Crenshaw. Yeah. So I'm sitting there and I looked at the bitch because, you know, my people are from Crenshaw. You just made me... That is racist as yes. fuck. These are I not the streets you. of Compton. Oh, my gosh. Yes. She's racist as fuck. <laughs> and you know, uh, straight out of Compton, what now then? So what's she know about Compton? You get what I'm saying? Like, where'd she get that from? Like, you get what I'm saying? That's what I start thinking. And I was just looking the whole time. I'm Because I'm standing, like, in the front when Flay came. <laughs> and I'm looking at the bitch like, baby, I need to jump on this hoe, too. She lucky. Because when she said streets of cop, bitch, who <laughs> are you asking? Where the fuck you get that from? You don't even, you, I wish I could just throw you into Compton, bitch, while you talking. Because you thinking that all black people is just ghetto because you got your ass whooped. That's what it was. You mad. Cause you got fucked up. <laughs> and that's just what it was. She thought she was doing something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> In hindsight, when I watched the clip, to me, the girl hit Safari first when she hit her with the flowers. Because you know why? Because you got you guys had to realize something. Um, she was not a contestant. Who? Safari was not a contestant. She was a spy, like like eyes. Remember eyes? how she told Flav, but because that happened, they had to act like she was, and that's why she was eliminated. She wasn't eliminated because 
of that. She was eliminated because they had to play it off because we didn't know that Eyes was a spy. So they played it off and kept it like that. So Safari was going to leave the house the first night too. She was supposed to tell go with Eyes and Flav and tell him who was there for Flav and who wasn't. Like and she, I, and she done, yes, and she didn't beat that this bitch true. ass. Well, like you said, that's why I think. Well, I know, you know where we from. You let bitch, we don't let bitches hit us first. So you could tell she was like she told the bitch, "Hey, you better calm down," because she knew what she was there for. Mm -hmm. But once you start hitting mm -hmm. people with flowers, bitch, it's all the crazy. <laughs> fuck this whole position. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's basically, I think, what the fuck happened. You know, it's like shit. Fuck that. I ain't gonna let no bitch hit me. We ain't get paid that much. Mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next on the list is Eyes. She was the spy for mm -hmm. the group, and she was supposed to report back what she did and tell Flay what she had saw the first night of the house. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on Eyes? You know, I don't even remember Eyes like that um, mm -hmm. as far as in the house before we found out. Uh, if I think back, I don't really remember, but I would say she really was kind of I see now that she was, it would be obvious now, you know, to me, because she was more so not really saying too much, mm -hmm. you know, when I go back and think about it, I don't mm -hmm. remember her saying too much. So she probably mm -hmm. was just analyzing all the girls. Yeah. Next on the list is H-Town, who got That's stomped. Cool. Yeah. Little racist ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she just kept complaining her head hurt. She was like, my head hurt. My head hurt. Let me hurt. tell you something. These people, some of these white folks, they do shit like that. Like I had it, I had I'm about to do a YouTube video on this school that tried to play with my daughter and tried to they tried to paint us out to be, you know, crazy black women, but I really think they Googled me and they tried to use like, oh, we could use, you know, whatever. But no, nah, I'm tired of that racist shit. So I I know racism when I see that shit. Like we can literally not do nothing and they'll say we did something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because at the yeah. end of the day, like you said, it's clear as day that this girl hit her first. Yeah, from at least from what I see. Yeah. The first hit came from the flowers. Yeah, it did. It did. Like, when people say things are edited, like, I don't know reality nowadays. It probably is scripted, but we weren't on a scripted show. Everything you see, that girl hit her first with them flowers. So that's how that happened. Sure. So whatever happens after, that's her fault for fucking with people. <laughs> and not knowing how to uh, throw no bow. Like, that's your fault. And then you trying to act like your head hurt. Well, maybe you should have threw your hands a little better instead of them flowers. Safari was tearing that girl up. She was, turn she was turning her every which way step loose. Really, to tell you the truth, I think she took it easy on her. That's why the girl can't fight. You know what I'm saying? Because, come on now. She was trying to warn her a couple of times. Next on the list is Hood. Do you remember Hood? Hood? Mm hmm She was on the What's show. What's she I mean, if you don't really? remember. Was she on our season? Mm -hmm. These are they, all names that were on your season. What she look like? I, I definitely, I'm funny. not even being funny. I've never remembered Hood. Next, on the, <laughs> next on the list is Chocolate. Do you remember Chocolate? I don't know. If this is our, is this our... <laughs> Chocolate? Mm -hmm. They had to been eliminated that first round. Yeah, yeah. These are all, I'm, I'm naming everybody okay. in the order they was eliminated. Yeah, I dev I don't remember her. Do you remember that's Bama? Chocolate. And that's this is Bama. Remember you remember Bama? Her. I remember her. I remember her, but not like in the sense of meeting her. Mm -hmm. I think excuse me. I think she was kind of cool. You know, once again, it was so it's it's so many years ago, but since they got eliminated early, I think she was cool. But that's as much as I could get out of that information, you know, out of that little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Next on the list is wire. Oh, who the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> who is that? <laughs> She's like Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> she, to me, seemed like she wanted to be a character so badly. Wire. Like, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was something weird about her. I know she popped pills or what, but it was some something weird. Next on the list is Spunky. You got to remember Spunky. I don't fuck with her. I don't dare, know. Dare I ask what happened? I will say, you could ask why, but, you know, I'm not friends with another person on the cast that people mm -hmm. thought I was friends with. 
But just because I'm not friends with her does not mean that I would like Spunky. But Spunky had did some shit to her. Oh, wow. That she told me. So I'm not, I don't know if it's true. I was just told that Spunky had did some crazy shit. And at the reunion, she was talking shit through the wall. And I was talking shit back. And I had to go choke, choke crazy because her and crazy was in the, the green room together. And they was talking shit. And I just ran in the room and choked them before the cam- cameras could come running. You choked crazy and spunky? Mm-hmm. And she was, no, spunky was just standing there quiet. So, But they were talking like through the wall you could hear. So the cameras are in there. You know how you talk your shit like, yeah, we about to go out there. Did it. I said, bitch, we hear you. And I'm going to get you. And then, <laughs> So the moment the camera, it was a long hallway. Like they have to run down. So when when they left, I told the other girl, I don't fuck with no more. I told her, uh, Bucky, I told her, okay, when they go down the hall, bitch, I'm about to go and choke this hoe. And she was like, okay. I said, you get spunky because the shit she did to you. She said, okay. What so Bucky did? So I you- said, first. I said first, go see if the door unlocked because they kept locking the door. <laughs> so because the cameraman just just left, <laughs> they left it unlocked. I said, "Bitch, I'm going in." I go in. Bucky stayed b- behind and messed up the whole fucking shit. I'm choking crazy, crazy cr- uh, screaming, and I look back and Bucky just standing there, lost like she ain't with it. Just left me motherfucking hanging. So I got her neck in my hand while she's screaming. I'm like, "Girl, get her!" And <laughs> she like just standing there. And then she said the camera crew running. So she run back in the room. <laughs> and I got to run off and said, bitch, fuck you, do her neck aside. And I ran to the room. I see the cameraman trying to get footage so hard. Like, they had to run so fast. By the time they got there, everything was over. We ran in our room and locked it. You know what's even more funny to me right now in this moment? Because I just remember <laughs> this clip of you from season two when you ran up on the stage to go attack New York, which we're going to get to later. And I just remember the hair that you had on was bouncing and you had on your black dress and your titties was bouncing and you was going like full motherfucking Olympic sprint force. That's what I'm envisioning in my head. You going into this green room. Mm-hmm. They was talking so much shit. They was talking about delicious. They were talking about me. They were talking about Bucky. So I don't know where delicious green room was, but it wasn't over there. So because mm-hmm. we had a wall, that wall was very thin. Oh yeah. What does Spunky do? I was ready for her to get Spunky because we was gonna tear them hoes up. What Spunky did? What Spunky do? You can tell me my my business. You well, don't, I'm you don't gonna gotta... tell you. I'm gonna t- Well, this is what I was told. This is what you was so, told. This is what I was told by Bucky. I was told that I don't know if you remember, but there was a sex tape. No. Yes. And. When we did King Magazine cover, you remember that? It was a I do remember y'all on King Magazine. Spunky, uh, uh, Spunky and a couple a, a couple other girls. Maybe like one or two other girls. I think it was Tiger, the tall, pretty white girl. It was a couple of, maybe like five or six of us. Crazy. So a couple of us. Supposedly, Bucky told me that she left her camera that had a disc in it with that on there and Spunky stole it. And Spunky put it out and I asked her how do you know that it was her she said because I left my camera there and somebody's DMing me in, on MySpace saying they're going to out me she told me that I guess she met her before the show and she just feels like it's her and the person was threatening her on MySpace like I'm about to put you on blast I'm about to put your video out I'm about they stole the camera chip I think you know where you have what is it called where you have your storage so when you plug it up all your stuff is on there and that's what I was told. So I don't know, but I don't. I don't. The tape, the tape couldn't have come out. Oh no, honey, it was out. I seen it. Was it with a famous man? This was, this was when that happened. That's why I asked her, "How do you know she specifically did it?" You know, because we're all famous. At the end of the day, we are on the number one show in the world. If anybody gets that, they're going to put... You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It was a fake page, she said, that kept threatening her. She said she knows. So that's why when we get to the reunion, you need to bust her head wide open. (laughs) 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 Oh, that's what I'm saying. You know, I don't fuck with her now. But even, even still, with that type of information, 
the way she put it to me, mm-hmm. she told me she wanted to bust her head wide open. That's another thing. So nobody's forcing her to do anything. She was tell she was very upset. Damn. There were other things that I'm not gonna share, but she was very upset. And she t- told me she wanted to beat her ass. So I felt like, well, bitch, I got this hoe and you got that hoe. And this is a perfect time because they didn't run out of hall. And what the fuck they going to do? Tell What's y'all it? to go home? Yeah. what They're they not going to tell us because the reunion ain't started yet. This is like before the reunion. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying I didn't get why she stood there. But I, like I said, this is just her telling me what she feels. We were not, we don't. I she didn't see her take it, but this is what she feels. So I took what she said, whatever communication her and Spunky had before. Um, I believed it because obviously, there's some type if you knew her before and the bitch is threatening you on MySpace, and it was just us girls, you know, you put your stuff in a corner when we were doing the shoot. She claimed that girl took it and was threatening her. So I never liked Spunky because of that. And she was a weird ass bitch on the show, doing too much, just looked dumb. Like, so I just didn't like her because of different things like that. If you're willing to do that, bitch, you need to get your ass beat.